Child. Now, all week, both Cardi and Nikki were racing and running to do the whole tit for tat. When in reality, they both should have been running back to the studio to drop another track. Want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. I want people to have fun. Let's kick back. Let's get into a little tea. Let's not get too crazy, but let's enjoy the sip. But let's get to the chi chi, the kiki, the the internet bull. If you want to see extended videos, exclusive content, including story times and more, subscribe to my Patreon. If you want to stay engaged and keep up with my commentary, follow me on Twitter. And if you would like to book a personal reading, you can go to my website, TheAlightningSouls.com, to schedule you a personal reading today. What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Santana, aka Cha 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 Chi Chi. And y'all, we are back for another Let's Talk About It. And unfortunately, we got to talk about it. I know the girl's not going to be happy with what it is I got to say today, but listen, we're equal opportunity offender out here. And child, we're going to have both. Both fan bases offended. See, Nikki fans, no, Cardi fans are the ones that will pull up to your house, and Nikki fans are the ones that'll blow it up. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just got to get into some things, y'all. I know y'all want to, but go ahead and like the video or at this point, dislike it. <laughs> Ciao. Just engagement. My life, my life, my life. already know what we about to get into and it is Cardi's new track that she dropped this week okay listen like I said I already did a video on the whole Cardi B versus Nikki I'm not really going to do a whole breakdown of that if you want my opinion on that or the whole breakdown of that you can go back to the what uh to the last video that I put up, you know, it's still available on the channel. Well, I kind of like broke down how they was doing like the whole tip for tat thing. And I guess Cardi called herself doing an even more one up because after Megan had released the, the cover art, the second cover art, then Cardi had did a live. And then when the song finally came out, it was a third cover art. And it was like, okay. And based off of all of this hype between Nikki, you know, trying to get the girls going up, you know, for Pink Friday 2 and the cover art, so whatever, and Cardi and Meg trying to get the girls going up for their new single, I'm just like, okay, I'm expecting some fire because what Nikki dropped, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But I'm like, okay, Cardi hasn't ever missed, like, as much as I love Nikki and I'll stand Nikki. Listen. If you're a total Barb or if you're a total Cardi Stan, this video is not going to be for you because I'm not going to put either one down. I'm going to put them both down at the same time. Listen, because at the end of the day, Cardi is the queen of hip hop and Nicki is the queen of rap. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. We all know Nicki writes her own. Listen, we're not even going to do the whole thing. We're not, we got, we're not going to do the whole thing. Nicki deserves respect, but so does Cardi. At some point, we got to let it go that, you know. We all know how Cardi got on. We all know payola, sympathy, all of that. But at some point, you got to let it go and just look at what Cardi has been able to do while she's been here. Okay? Because even though we can all agree, okay, there was a machine behind Cardi that was pushing her and pushing her and pushing her, you know, simply just to take Nicki Minaj down. At the end of the day, aside from the machine that helped Cardi get here, Cardi has maintained to be able to stay here. And she put out... Bops on bops on bops. And even though there was a huge push for Bodak Yellow to go number one, she still released an album that was full of non-stop bangers, you know, a great album with no skits. And like I said, Cardi has not released any songs, at least not since I gave the bitch music days, you know. She hasn't released any songs or any features that are trash. Now, Nikki, as much as I love her, she has. Come on now. We all know Massive Attack. Even Nikki would tell you Massive Attack. As well as a couple of others that wasn't so, 
you know, or, you know, kind of fade it to the background or whatever. And I'm no stranger to saying it. My favorite era of Nikki was when Nikki was thirsty. Just like a lot of people will kind of agree, Cardi B's best era was kind of like her stripper, ratchet, gangsta B, um, you know, Bodak Yellow, money type of days. You know what I'm saying? Um, we can say the same thing about Nikki. My favorite days about her was when, you know, she was doing Roman and the whole Hello Good Morning, Bottoms Up monster. Like when she was on that type of time. That's my favorite era of Nikki. When Safari was around. Not saying that he wrote for her, but he definitely influenced her. Like, come on now. We're not going to sit and play those games over here because whoever you're around, you know, y'all tend to act like each other, whatever. We can say whatever about Safari and his career, but at the end of the day, we can't say that we believe in destiny and believe in God and believe in fate and all of this, that, and a third, and then be like, okay, well, why Safari ain't get on it? His, just, his destiny just wasn't meant for certain things, period. Not saying that he wrote for Nikki, but Nikki and him together was definitely a dynamic duo. And, you know, he was somebody that brought out the best of her inside of the recording studio. It just is what it is. Argue with your mama. Okay. But when it comes to Cardi, like I said, we was all anticipating this new song. Um, I've never really heard a bad song from Cardi. So I was automatically like, okay, Cardi on it is going to be a bop. Megan on it. Okay. It's going to be a bop. Okay. Because I already said Megan flatline at Fever. Okay, that album that we were supposed to get, that album movie that we were supposed to get, okay, that was supposed to drop back in, what, 2019 that we never got? Yeah, that was Megan's best piece of work. That's where she flatlined. That's where she climaxed for me, okay? And, um, yeah, Megan is very repetitive. Oh, ah, ah, oh, ah, ah. Yeah, and I wasn't necessarily looking forward to that on this track, but then at the same time, I'm just like, eh, Megan does kind of do better with features nowadays than she does on her own shit, okay? Because at least we only have to hear, you know, the, oh, ah, ah. Ooh, ah, you know, at least we only got to hear that for one verse as compared to throughout the whole song. Okay. So I was like, her being on the feature, I could kind of do. I could kind of do. Okay. I could kind of do with. Okay. So we're going to take it to this article. Okay. We're going to take it to this article. Um, where, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. It says, um, because we're going to take it back a little bit. It says, Cardi B says that she and Megan Thee Stallion trick fans with Bongo's cover art. Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion set the end of the blaze when they announced their forthcoming single, Bongos. Me and Megan, we tricked y'all. The mother of two said during the Instagram live session. I'm not really going to go too much deep into all of this. You can watch the other video because I'm not planning on doing a whole super deep dive on this at all. Okay, but basically, you know, this is just an official blog post, you know, just confirming that, you know, I guess Cardi really wasn't trolling and Cardi really was, you know, trying to come out and say, like, listen, like, I, um, well, I just played it. Me and Megan... We tricked ya! We tricked you, b This covers, we tricked you, b You wanna know how we tricked ya? Because this is not the theme of the song. Or the video. Or the video. This is not the theme of the song or the video. Oh, we want y'all to believe that it's giving something that it's not. Now you cannot outwork me, b Like, let me tell you, b You, y'all cannot work me, you can't outwork me. Like when I told you a bitch landed. What time I landed yesterday? A bitch landed like a nine o'clock, right? I washed my push, I washed my ass and everything. So then, um, patience and Marsha made their business to come talk to me. We was up to four thirty talking. I don't know where Erica. She came in. She came to do my makeup. Tokyo came to do my hair. And guess what? After that, I kid you not. I did like fucking twenty interviews. I did. All over America, all over Espanol, all over China. Like, you know, this pussy's into. I was working today. Like, a bitch was working and a bitch got to and, and I'm still working. Like, I still got to do some other shit tomorrow. Guys. Like, bitch, like, I'm out. Uh, uh, like, I'm tired, ho. But guess what? I don't give a. All right. So, bye. I'll talk to you later. I mean, that's cute or whatever. Um, what I will say is that when these artists sit and be like, oh, like I've been working, da, 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 I'm working so hard. I'm not going to negate that because, I mean, it definitely takes a lot of effort, you know, especially of a Cardi status. Like you can say what you want about Cardi, but Cardi is not just two stepping on the stage. Like she actually commits. She's actually one of the girls that has got the girls to dancing and whatnot. And as much as I love Nikki, Nikki might pat her pussy, but Nikki is not giving a full, you know, full eight count. She's not. She's not. And this is not necessarily a video to compare either to. Um, if anything, it's a video to shade both. Okay. And tell them to do better. Okay. Um, come on, princess and, and queen of rap. Come on. Okay. 
um, like I said, this is not necessarily to compare the two, but I mean, I'm just saying give Cardi credit where, where credit is due. And listen, I've done numerous videos about Lotto and how I feel about Lotto coming for Nikki and da 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 da. So now I'm not switching up. It's just you are allowed to have more than one, you know, fave. And it's okay. It is okay. Y'all, y'all seem to think that you can only have one fan and you can only be a stand of one person. Th listen, you can be a stand of both people, right? You can be a stand of both people. You got people that's like, oh, look at who Nikki is married to. Okay, well, look at who Offset is married to. Yeah, okay. Okay, like, because we could we could really sit and compare and contrast, and it's just like, Nikki and Cardi are birds of the same feather, okay? And they would work better together if they stopped arguing, and y'all fans with the beef and whatnot stopped, okay? But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, interview that she did, because, you know, Cardi has been on, like, a press run for this new song, but she's not really saying much in any of the interviews. They pretty much asking her the same thing that people always ask her, which is like, oh, okay, well, what's the new song about? When is the album coming? How do you feel, you know, being in hip-hop rap? How do you feel releasing music? You know, how do you feel when it comes to the comments that you see on social media? It's all, it's like, it's the same regurgitated ass interviews every time. But I did hear something interesting that I do want to pull up once these ads get the fuck out the way. Because she actually spoke a little bit deeper on the whole cover art situation. Because at first, I was just like, girl, like, how you how you trick us about a song we don't even know about? A song we ain't even give a damn about until y'all got online and announced it. Like, in order to trick us, you would have had to have us believe in one thing. Like, I'm confused, right? And then, especially when it had already came out, you know, before the song had came out, people was already saying, oh, it's about sex and money because, you know... She had sent the song to Angela Yee and Mayno was, you know, had made a comment like the song is very much about sex and money. Angela Yee was like, oh, she's speaking Spanish on it. Blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, from my assumption, I was like, OK, just another song about sex, money and fuck niggas and how much people hate them and how they that bitch. And it's going to be done to a dembo beat. And that's exactly what happened. It was done to a dembo beat, a Brazilian funk beat. Da, 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 da. But there was something that she said in regards to the whole cover art situation that I was like, OK, now, Cardi. Okay, let me see if I can find the part. Where's that? Like, he's obsessed with me. Aww. He is obsessed with me. And <laughs> she's trying to get some stuff. <laughs> now, he also said in this in the interview up here that you're like a pit bull at the mouth when y'all uh, get into it. And so, buddy, but from... You know, just the other day, I got dragged by vinyls, but you have to, like, hand in your song and artwork and everything, like, four months ahead, like, girl. Uh, your artwork is beautiful for it. Uh, it it is really pretty, but uh, it's not like <laughs> it's, not, it's not the theme like of. It kinda, I saw you saying that, so people thought you put out fake artwork at first, you know. But then I saw you correct that. Yeah, no, it's not fake artwork, but uh, we just wanted like we just wanted people to think that it was like like a WAP thing, mm -hmm. and it's like it's not really like a, a a WAP thing. It's like really more different. Like I I don't want it to people to know like the vibe of the song or the vibe of the video so mm -hmm. yeah and that's so, how we did it so i want cardi to shut the hell up i want cardi to shut the hell up because baby 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 cardi 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 okay let's she said she wanted people to think that it was like wop okay but the song isn't and it's like girl but it is though it is though actually she actually getting dragged on twitter because people are saying, Come on, it's giving, oh let me not let me not before Park would come and snatch my whole channel down. Let me not. Okay, but people up here is like comparing it to Baby Boy by Beyonce, comparing it to Standing on the Sun by Beyonce. And they, they already done clocked the fact that, okay, they filmed at the Blackest King Mansion. Uh, right here, actually, Megan looks good as AF right here. I will give that to her boring ass. She looks good. This right here, this whole time she was dancing with that hair, I said, oh, I got to get me some of that hair. And I want Megan to stick around with that hair because she looks so good with that hair. It was so big and fluffy and whatnot. But um, let me see if I can find some more. Was that it? I think that was it. I could have sworn I had some more. Child, I could have sworn I had some more. Okay. I, I could have sworn I had some more, child. I could have sworn I had some more. But um, yeah, really my whole main point of this, honestly, let's get into the song. So... I feel like Cardi, you tried to do too much. I don't know. I still don't know the truth of what happened between Nikki and Cardi and why they was both trying to do the whole tit for tat thing because 
if any of y'all be, uh, like bothered to download the song, you'll see that there's actually a third additional cover art that was not shown with a pink background that's supposed to be the official cover art. And like I said, you can clearly look at the, the, the title, you can clearly look at the cover art, and it literally matches the song. So whatever you trick or rude you thought she was doing, trying to like, oh, trick y'all, it didn't work because literally the song is about ass shaking. And we look at the cover and it looks like ass shaking. And this essentially is WAP part two, just in a different genre. It is WAP part two in a different genre. Wet ass pussy part two in a different genre. Now, I'm upset about this because I'm from New York. And so over here, Dimbo is very popular. I typically call it Dimbao. Okay, that's just the way I like to say it because it's like Dimbao, okay? But Dimbo is very popular over here, okay? Um, anybody that's from New York, you know, Uptown, you know, Harlem, Washington Heights, Dykeman, very Erica Mena, very Sin Santana, very um, Evelyn Lozada, very... Child, I'm just naming Puerto Ricans at this point. But, it's like, I'm just trying to think of a way to say it, but it's very, like, New York Rican, nigga Rican, like, Platano, like, very, it's just uptown. You know what I mean? Like, Dumbo is just very popular over here. And if you're from any of those hoods uptown, like, it's all they play from sun up to sundown. True tea, y'all. True tea. True tea. Okay, hold on. True tea, just because we on the subject. True tea, just because we on the subject. Okay. Um. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I mean, it ain't like y'all doing shit, okay? Y'all probably in the comments going off. But I just want to show y'all something. I just want to show y'all something, okay? Give me a little second to brag, okay? Give me a little second to brag, okay? But, um, yeah, I used to live uptown. I lived uptown last year. I mean, well, don't get all in my business. But I will say, like, this whole video that they did, baby, that's my apartment. That's my motherfucking apartment right there, okay? So remember the whole Ice Spice and Pink Panthers and the whole Boys of Liar video that they did? Yeah, they filmed that uptown, baby. 605 West 144th Street and Broadway, okay? Next to the one train off of, you know, 137th uh, College, College Hill or College Street, whatever the fuck it was called. Okay, but yes, that was filmed at 605 West what if what wait <laughs> 605 was 141st street huh okay and that was my apartment building and that was my apartment okay just in case y'all want to know okay just in case y'all want to know i felt like i needed to brag for a little bit but yeah baby that was my apartment okay and that was when i didn't like ice spice but child, i could do a whole story time about that another day if y'all wanted okay and google the address baby i'm not lying that, that was literally my apartment um but i say all of that to say that was filmed uptown um and literally living there you know that was pretty much like the start of like Washington Heights. Like it was more so like Hamilton Heights leading into Washington Heights and just being around, you know, nothing but Dominicans. That's literally all I live by was Boricuas and Platanos. And literally all day is what they would play was Dembo. Dembo. Okay. Dembo is what the fuck they would play all goddamn day. All goddamn day. To the point where a couple of years ago I had even, um, cause y'all know I do like my little music or whatever, got trap bops. And I had wrote this uh, project called uh, Uptown Bops, right? Where I was going to do a whole lot of them bow records and they get thrown records, right? And so I was, I was expecting a lot more from Cardi. You know what I'm saying? Like I was expecting a lot more from Cardi. Soon as I heard the beat, and then especially like once I got, heard the music video and was hearing the beat, I was like, okay, Cardi, like I was expecting a lot more. And so to hear what she gave, I was just like, no, what is what is this? What is this? Okay, first of all, the beat is fire. Of course it is because it's a dembo beat. Technically, uh, Brazilian funk, but like a lot of Brazilian funk is dembo. Like, if you know, you know. So like. A lot of the Dembo sound is like it's very up tempo, right? Very up tempo, very get on the floor, very get out the hookah, very shake your ass, like just real uptown lively, like. And so I expected so much from this beat, and then I just did not get that. I didn't. I felt like the lyrics was off. I felt like the lyrics didn't match the song at all. I feel like whoever wrote this song did not know how to write to a Dembo beat, and it was very clear. I felt like Megan was not needed on the song. I felt like Megan added nothing to the song. I felt like Megan even fucked up the song. Um, I felt like her verse definitely wasn't needed and it didn't sound right. Like none of it sound right. They looked amazing. But that's the thing. This is a music video, but we can't listen to it and watch it on mute. You know what I'm saying? Like the visual is absolutely amazing, but I feel like it's the right visual for the wrong song. Okay? Or the right visual with the right people, just the wrong artist on the right song. 
if that makes sense. Like the beat is fire. I just hate the way that they did it. And and it reminds me of Nikki because Nikki was the same way with last time I saw you. Everybody in their mama was going up like, oh my God, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. And it's just like, why are y'all lying to these artists? These artists drop these songs and y'all rush to go suck their dicks, suck their pussies. And it's not... <laughs> Because it's almost like there's no middle ground. There's no constructive criticism nowadays. It's like either you ride in a bitch's dick or you're completely a hater. And there's room to be in the middle. Like, again, I am a stand of both Nikki and Cardi. I'm a stand of both girls. Technically, I get a little bit more hype for Cardi's music now in 2023 because she's more consistent. And, you know, Nikki and Cardi both give you verses that you shout with your chest. And to me, that's part of being a great rapper. Like, it, when they verses come on in the club, everybody, no matter who it is, everybody is rapping that shit. And that, to me, is what makes them stand above everybody else out here that's trying to do it. And then aside from that, it's like, <sighs> as much tit for tat as they was doing all week, what we was given doesn't match it. Like, last time I saw you was mid. I already gave my thoughts about that in the last video. But last time I saw you was mid as fuck. It sound unfinished. It sounds like a demo. It's missing background harmonies. Okay? I feel like everybody's going up for it. But it's really not that good of a song because it sounds unfinished. And bongos or bangos or whatever the hell this shit is called, it just sounds like it needs to be rewritten. Completely rewritten. I don't know who wrote this, but you can tell that they're not used to jumping on a Dembo beat. You can tell. You can tell. You can tell. Let me see if I can pull up an example because y'all know I'm like super like spiritual and whatnot. And I always get like these little downloads and whatnot from spirit without even like knowing what the hell it's in regards to. And I knew a couple of years ago that the Jersey Club sound was going to become good. And become like mainstream. And I was trying to like jump ahead of it. And I had to do a song called. Um, Got Next. I mean you can go through my Twitter. I probably tweeted about it. But I had never ended up releasing it. As well as like two years ago. I had matter of fact. I'll show y'all right here literally. Let me show y'all right here. Okay. And mind you these songs is unmixed. Okay, it's unmixed, so don't judge it too much. But I'm just, I just want to give y'all an example of what shit is supposed to sound like. Okay, since we up here talking shit, I might as well give y'all some examples. Um, you said if I want to, if I want you, because if I let you, that me I want you, then no. You got to pay for this ass. You got to pay me that cash. You got to come with the bag. If not, then okay, nobody hitting that. Ain't never been thirsty on some weak shit. I get too much to be a weak bitch And now all my time is like a weak shit Unless you come in hard and go away and let a weak cleanse If you step into me, better run that shit up Your pockets don't walk, but I need them on shot Don't think like a man, nigga, act like a thug Show me how you really throw it up Only times that I'm talking is a dollar con That's the type of conversation that I change in mind Cause you talk a lot of shit, but can you pay the fine? Said you put in work, but can you do the time? Cause I can keep it cute, yeah, I can keep it classy Only Sorry. If I tell you once, I won't tell you again. Can't be yell on me. If you want me, my man. If I fight a street set, that is just a plan. You will not police if you want me, my man. If I tell you once, I won't tell you again. Can't be yell on me. If you want me, my man. If I fight a street set, that is just a plan. You will not police if you want me, my man.
All right, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> but y'all kind of understand my point. Y'all kind of understand my point. I mean, listen, I love them both. I love reggaeton. I love Latin, hip-hop, whatever the hell you want to call her. I love all types of music. And I just felt like bongos could have been better. It could have been. Especially when, like I said, Jersey Club, which I always loved since a child, like that's now starting to get traction. I really felt like Cardi B, as big as she is, she could have been the one to take this out and really go make it mainstream. And it's not like we haven't heard Latin um, hip hop before. I mean, we've heard, you know, Beyonce and J Balvin, you know, like we, we've heard Latin hip hop crossover into mainstream hip hop and mainstream pop. Like we've heard it before, but the specific Dembo sound Cardi really could have took it somewhere else. And I don't know if that's going to happen like that. I don't know. Because just based off of the reactions on Twitter, like, I even had Cardi Stans hitting me up. And usually Cardi Stans would be like, no, y'all know what you're talking about. Y'all know how they do. But I had Cardi Stans hitting me up like, yeah, the song is bad. The song is bad. And I know some people probably going to be mad in their feelings and probably be trying to come for me and be like, oh, you think them little sample unmixed shits that you played is better? I ain't say all of that because I know what it is. <laughs> okay, listen, let's talk about it. Okay, let's not. <laughs> let's not. I'm just saying I want more from the queen and the rap. I mean, the queen and the princess. That's what I want. I want more from the queen and the princess because right now I'm bored. They supposed to be in charge of the girls. Okay, you can't have the girls out here running amok and sounding a mess. And then you got the queen and the princess sounding a mess with them. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So I'm going to stick firm on what I said. I believe that last time I saw you is an unfinished demo that Nikki released just to kind of prove a point. I feel like it's a single loosely throwaway. Um, I feel like if it's meant for the album, I feel like she needs to go back and add more harmonies and, and layer it up and make it okay. Go back and watch the other video the other day because I gave some examples of what it's supposed to sound like. And let me know, because I, I, listen, I'll take her song and add the background harmony so y'all can hear and see what I mean. I'll go and I'll record it for you so y'all can hear what I mean, okay? But as far as Cardi, yeah, she needed to just scrap this whole song, because at this point, it's already out. <laughs> like, unless you're going to do, like, a bongos part two with completely new raps. But, yeah, baby, they don't, they just don't fit the song. It just, mm-mm, mm-mm. So definitely let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comment box below. I'm not impressed with either one. And, you know, these are the two that I get look the most forward to. And Doja Cat as well. We're going to throw her in here as well. But at least with Doja Cat song, as much as I didn't like it, it's catchy. It's catchy enough to make you start liking it after a while. Bongos, no. Last time I saw you, no. No. I can't be the only one that's a stand of both girls and feel this way. So definitely let me know what y'all thought about all of this down in the comment box below. Um, oh, and when I say I'm dropping new music, I wasn't necessarily referring to the two songs that I played. Okay, keep in mind that they are unmixed. They are not mixed and mastered for radio. Okay, they're unmixed. Okay, because they're demos. So don't judge them too harshly. Okay, I wasn't necessarily saying, though, you know, when I say I'm dropping new music, I wasn't talking about those. But, child, if you want me to drop them, let me know. <laughs> let me know. Holla at me. Okay. Um, shout out to the new 90s bops that's coming out. That's the new music. Okay. And, yeah, let me know how y'all feel about all of this down in the comment box below as if I give a fuck. And definitely make sure that you go stream my song, Swing My Way, as if you give a fuck. I love you all at HD Audio, allegedly. And we'll talk in the next one. Bye, ho. Oh, and subscribe to the Patreon. And go to my website, VLinesHost.com, to look you a motherfucking personal reading. And I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm trying to fuck now, so maybe let's dance Fuck up my baby right here on my legs, man Baby, I'm trying to twist I'm trying to take it to my place And get a little profit Then maybe